Hello guys, welcome to my Canvas tutorial. My name is Anirudh and in my previous video of Canvas tutorial, we had seen how to draw a circle. And in this video, I will show you how to draw a rectangle. So guys, first of all, here I have added basic HTML structure inside this index.html file. And I have already said Canvas is a JavaScript based, but we call HTML5 Canvas. Okay, so inside this body tag, first of all, I will draw one canvas. Okay, so canvas and here i will take one id id name you can write anything i will write the id name is canvas and here i will set with uh, with you can set anything like uh, canvas is a like a playground okay so this is like a playground so playground width and height you can decide so here i will write width is 200 and height also 200 okay like this and here inside this head tag i will write on style tag okay so this style i'm writing internal css if you want you can write external css as well like you can create one css file and you can write the css there so here i will take this id as a reference so this one and after that here just simply i will add one border so border uh, here i will write two pixels solid and border color first of all i will set this color this is white color and from there i will open the color window and just i will choose one color so i have choose red color so now i will do save and just i will come to the browser and i'll show how it is looking like so it is looking like this okay so here what i will do just i will increase the width little bit so like here i will add 400 okay so it will increase our canvas width so in this is the canvas okay so you can simply uh, you think it is a playground and here i will draw something okay so today i will draw a rectangle so now after that everything i have to write inside javascript okay so here for writing javascript i will add script tag and after that first of all i will take on variable so where c c equals to here i will write document dot get element by id and the id name that one okay so in my previous two videos i have already said uh, when we create canvas so that time two line is common for every drawing okay now here i will take another variable that is ctx you can write variable name anything and here i will write c dot because inside this c variable i store our canvas so c dot here get context and here 2d like this okay so now this is done so now i will create rectangle rectangle create is very simple here i will write ctx dot fill rate okay and after that here i will write four values okay so first i will write zero zero means it will denote like how much space it will add in left side means this property we call x okay x then y then width of our rectangle and height of our rectangle okay so here left space means x then top space that i will add zero means y and after that width width here i will add 100 and height i will add 50 because i'm creating rectangle okay not square if i want to create square so width and height if i add same so it will look like square so i'll show you first of all so i'll go to the browser so here you can see rectangle is created so now here if i want to increase the width i can do it with 200 and height 100 so you can see like this and here if i want to make it square so just width and height if i add same so it will look like a square you can see now here the another thing top space if i add 10 i mean this is left space and this is top space so if i add left and top 10 so 
you can see some space is added in the left side and in the top side okay it is added some space so like this or you can create a rectangle this is very simple right and now i will show you how to add color in your rectangle so this is very simple here just i will add ctx dot fill style and the color name what you want to add okay so i'll add red color and now i'll show you so you can see color is added now i will show you how you can add stroke color okay means if you want to add line in your rectangle so how you can add that color so now here i will write just simply here i will write ctx dot stroke style okay so ctx dot stroke style here i will add the color name i will add green color by the way you can add any color and after that ctx dot stroke react right okay and here i have to add the property this is important okay so now here if i add 0 0 and 200 and 100 now let's see what it will have see it is added on border color but it is not in the proper place because if you notice when i have created rectangle like this line by this line so here i have added some space in top and left so i have to add the same property here property values here like this okay so now it will be in perfect place okay so now i will show you how you can add gradient color so gradient color you can add anywhere like instead of fill style simple color you can write gradient even here you can add the gradient color so before that here i have to create gradient color so just here i will create one gradient color so here i will add where and one variable name okay variable name again i'm saying you can write anything so ctx dot create radial gradient okay so this one and here again you have to add some property values for this gradient color so first is your position so our rectangle is started from 10 and 10 so here gradient color also should be start from these properties okay and after that here i have to add this one and after that here i will add radius okay last value is for radius and those are for gradient color okay so now here i will add grd this variable dot add color stop so here you have to add whatever color you want to add so zero means this color will start from zero the color name is red and same again i will write add color stop and this color will go up to here and color name i will add white and now this variable i will call here instead of this color name so now let's see see here gradient color is added so now if i change this radius property okay so if i add here 50 so it will be like this okay even if i add here 150 so it will be more radius okay so now here those value let's see if i add here 50 so see here okay so you can change those value and you can see what happened okay so this way you can create a rectangle so if you find this video is helpful so please like this video and also subscribe my channel to get more updates